This isn't the first time he's talked this way. Here he was with Howard Stern. Take a listen. Well, I'll tell you the funniest is that I'll go backstage before a show. Yes. And everyone's getting dressed and ready and everything else. And, you know, no men are anywhere. And I'm allowed to go in because I'm the owner of the pageant, and therefore I'm inspecting it. You know, I'm inspecting. Right, I right. want to make sure that you're like everything doctor, is good. You're there. Yeah, the dress. Is everyone okay? You know, they're <laughs> yeah. standing there with no clothes. Is everybody okay? And you see these incredible-looking women. And so I sort of get away with things like that. That was, by the well, way, not well, 11 years ago, Mr. Mayor. That's now July of 2008. Yeah, but that is still, he wasn't running for president. He was on a shock jock uh, show. Howard Stern happens to be a friend of mine. But why, is, I've been that, on his show. why, why is this but idea, I, I've been, why is it not but, running? But, but, wait, let me ask you this, Mr. Mayor. Why is the idea of not running, well, he wasn't running for president, so it's okay to be a misogynist. He wasn't running for I'm president, saying, so it's okay Chuck, to Chuck, make unwanted Chuck, sexual advances? Chuck, Chuck, I'm not saying it was the right thing to do. I'm saying that, for example, when I was the mayor of New York and I went on Howard Stern's show, I made sure that we didn't fool around, we didn't tell jokes, we didn't say things that, you know, would shock people. On that show, a lot of things are said that aren't true, that you just say them because they're funny. Uh, I'm a good friend of Howard Stern's, and I really like him a lot, but every time I was on his show, my people, my mayor's people, handled it so that we never talked about things like that. It's not right to say it whether you're a politician or you're not. Now, it's not about saying it, Mr. Thing? Mayor. It's doing it. He make, he's bragging about making unwanted it, sexual wrong. advances. You're saying that the wrong. words are wrong. How about the actions? Well, the actions would be even worse if they were actions. He, talk and actions are two different things. Wait, wait a minute. So you I, I say that. You New York Times. Temple Taggart was a 21-year-old beauty contestant when she said Mr. Trump kissed her on the lips without invitation at a pageant event. It was an unwanted advance. She has turned over in her head for years. Watching him relive his sexual aggressions on this video, she said in an interview on Saturday, made me feel a lot better, she said. It was like, thank you. Now no one can say I made this up. You were just implying this stuff was made up. I'm not implying it was made up. I said we're talking about things that he was talking about. I don't know how much he was exaggerating. I don't know how much is true. I certainly know, I don't know the details of it. Uh, but I do know that this is unfortunately the kind of talk that goes on among a lot of people. And they shouldn't talk about this. This is, this is, uh, this is wrong. He realizes that. He understands it now. He's, ru he's running for president. He realizes that he's got the weight of the responsibility of all these people on his shoulder. And this is something he's not going to do in the future. And he's He's uh, very apologetic about it and wants to move on to what's going to be really important 30 days from now.